Hello there, and welcome back to Foundry. Yes, we're back on good old Foundry once again, going to be continuing our single-player playthrough. Get that loaded up right here. Uh, whoops, wrong one. That one, <laughs> I've been, uh, uh, been, you know, just playing the game when I want to play it all the time. Because I can't play this one all the time, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on in. Yep, uh, we've uh, we've got some stuff to do. Uh, we got a few different things that we're gonna try and uh, accomplish, uh, should I say, today. Um, so one, I did dig out the river. Unfortunately, it is uh, not exactly working like it should. I think their water, even if it was, uh, even though it's, uh, I, I believe it's still, it's like uh, it's like Minecraft water essentially. Uh, where you gotta have source blocks and stuff, but the only problem is that uh, I believe the if if this was Minecraft, it would have filled itself in. <laughs> There's enough here, enough space here and stuff like that, and I can't use the old tricks that I used to use. I use like blocks and stuff to uh, basically make the game create more source blocks, and then remove the blocks, and then it would create even more source blocks, and, and, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. I tried. I tried for a few hours, um, trying to get this to fill itself in. It filled itself in a little bit, but that's about it. Uh, it didn't go very much further. Uh, as well, the other thing is it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't uh, record on the map uh, the water uh, where the water itself is. It, it. You can see it, it kind of has some of the dirt there, but that's. That's about it. I don't know what's going on with that, <laughs> to be honest. I think it's because the the blocks that we placed, um, I think, is what that is. Because uh, I did uh, have this section dug out at one point, and then I filled it back in because it wasn't uh, it was too much. Um, so that's probably where we're getting that. Um, but yeah, I did manage to dig out the river at least. So if we uh, in the future can can fix it, we will. Um, I didn't do any expansion, though. That's solely what I worked on uh, there. Uh, so if you weren't here last time, we had uh, finished doing all of the research that required just the red, or just the, just the blue uh, research pack. And we have a new source of power, uh, which I'm going to expand upon. But we have new source of powers. It is these burners, which is using this... Uh, oh, we, can, we can remove these... These are no longer useful to us anymore. Which is using this stuff here. Um, doesn't tell me what it is, because I, I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> we can just scan that, it'll tell us. In a second, once it hits the node, there it is. Ignium ore, which is basically coal. Um, and then we've got Xenoferrite ore and uh, Technomore. Uh, which Technomore is uh, supposedly copper, uh, which is more like iron. And the, uh, this stuff, the Xenoferrite ore, is like iron, which kind of looks like copperish. Or <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. I mean, it doesn't look like copper either. And iron, th this would be okay if the Technomore was kind of copperish. Uh, it was like, a, sorry, green. It was more like green and copper. Copper color. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, and uh, we had done all that. We had also done a little bit of expansion. Figured out where our blocks were going to go and stuff like that too. So today we're going to focus on more expansion, but we're also going to focus on starting to build red. Um, and since the city isn't quite ready yet to start putting stuff down, as far as factories go yet, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it to the red, or the blue and red sector, which is going to be basically one of these building this. So that's what we're going to focus on, and it's going to be on this side. Um, and again, this is all temporary, it's just, I want to continue making progress in the game while we're building the city, so, uh, that's kind of my goal. Uh, here is to make that happen. Um, unfortunately, I'll have to move this. I'll we'll have to move this inserter here. Do I have any more long-handed? I do not. Uh, 
I don't have much in the way of building them either. <laughs> I still have my crates over here. Wish you could shove in some sand. Um, eventually they'll have to get rid of this. But at least we no longer have to get biomass, which we, I'm just gonna destroy that. I'll keep the sand and the dirt stuff for like landscaping, but um, yeah, that'll just that can just stay in here for now. Okay. So anything else? Oh, we had to unlock lights as well. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and and to ooh. There's some long-handed inserters right there. Perfect. Uh, do we need any belts? I mean, kinda. We'll grab some belts. We'll grab some lifts. Oops. We got plenty. Of it. We got almost a full stack of those. So, um. So yeah, somebody did say that uh, you know that the knight really doesn't have any use uh, in this game. Um, and that they should just they should just not have it. Uh, I'd imagine it's it's similar to the nighttime in Factorio, the nighttime in uh, Satisfactory, where it's just a just a day, you know, your standard everyday day night cycle. Me, I don't mind it. Um, I'm quite happy to have it, to be honest, because uh, at least then it, you know, it's a little change. Then you have the reason for the lights and stuff like that too. So it's just you know personal opinion and all that. But you can you can not like it. It's fun. <laughs> it's not it's not something that you have to like. Um, but yeah, that's just one of them things. Okay. So what do we want to do? Oh, the other thing I need to expand these too. Uh, can we make some more? Because uh, I was playing on my other world and I had basically built this. I built a couple extra machines, but um, I was running. In, when everything was going, I was actually running into power issues, so I'm going gonna, gonna to expand this a little bit. So we need rods and plates, which we have going into these containers here. And also, I did send some more feedback to the developers via the, the feedback system right here, this little F9 or GIF feedback. Um, and uh, hopefully they'll add it. Hopefully they will add it. Is um, I want uh, the inserters that if they're between two machines, that it'll just if an inserter is between two machines, connecting to it, then it, it should be able to transfer from one machine to another. Um, I think that would be amazing to have, because <laughs> then you you know you uh, you don't have to do. Uh, this whole shenanigan where we go from this box uh, here or from this machine to this box where we have to have belts and inserters and all that crap, you know, it's just one of them things uh, as well. So what did I need the long handed inserters for? I've already forgotten. Oh, yeah. So I am going to move this one over to here. Then we're going to delete this one. And we're going to have the red come in here. So that's where the red's going to come in. And then we're going to put that there. But yeah, hopefully they'll add that as well as I also suggested that they have single belt lifts. Uh, so basically it'd be this, but straight up. Um, so I go from, let's say I had a belt here, then the lift would be here, and then come out here, and then... I could just connect to that right there without having to have extra space and stuff like that. Because you, if you start getting, you know, some like tight knit factories and stuff like that, uh, or tight, just just very tight factories, it just it becomes a problem. Uh, so it's just one of them things. Uh, also, we do need to build these. Oh, I need, uh, I forgot I need the plates. I, just, I still didn't get that painted either. <laughs> Been, I was working on that river. Uh, that one did take me a while to uh, dig it out. Uh, it took about three, two, two to three hours, I think, to dig that all out. Uh, just because I only have the, only have the mining, the research mining speed. Uh, I only have the first level of that, so uh, that one it did become a bit of an 
issue. Okay, so we'll make one of these and then we'll stick it right next to this. We're basically going to copy this. I'm going to take this machine over here uh, with the box and stuff like that. So that way it's all, you know, it's all, it's all there. Um, and of course, I, I think what I'll do is I'll, re I'll rotate this. Uh, luckily, uh, what they have done in this game, though, is what we can do is we can hit Control C on this because I've remapped it to Control C. It's just like copy, uh, Control C. What? Does that not work with this? Okay, Control Q then. Oh, you can't even copy. Not enough. Oh, I need a research server. Uh, no, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Give me this. And what what I can do is I can just take that, pick it up, and then put it back down. Uh, I just ro dis rotate it, basically. If you could hover over the machine and hit R, uh, kind of like uh, Factorial. Factorial has that. Uh, that would be that'd, that'd be a nice little touch. But that's not really needed, per se. Ah, uh, yes, because the rods are in the way. Uh, so we need two more lock handed inserters. An input and an output on a box. Of course, we're going to run our belt. Just like that. Like I said, this is just so we can continue to advance the game. Um, stuff like that, so... How did we place stuff like that? I guess it doesn't matter on this one specifically where the panel goes. Just once it's configured, I don't have to look at it again, right? Okay, we're going to configure this one to make us red. Okay, so this one needs um, foundations, which we're already making, and then belts, which we need to make. So um, we need to make 12 belts a minute, and we need to make... Uh, 24 foundations a minute, which is more than enough uh, we have here. Let's see. We got one machine. No, we got two machines making foundations, right? Uh, which each of them make 120 a minute. So that's just so we can have this crazy thing. I I don't remember if I showed you guys adding the boxes. We've got three boxes now. Um, uh, so this is 3,200... And then uh, something like that. It's pretty crazy. It's a crazy number. It's like, <laughs> I can't remember the number. I done the, yeah, did the little calculator thing. But uh, yeah, that works there. Um, what would also be awesome is an inserter that takes from one belt to another. Um, basically, with just a space in between just enough for the inserter itself. So basically, you just take it from here, place it like this, and then you have your belt on the other side here. It detects that there's a belt there, much like it detects there's a machine there, and then it goes, okay, and then it just basically builds another piece to connect it. Uh, that would be nice. Or just have the two space, and then uh, if you have, a say, a belt here like this, this would be cool. Then you just take your inserter and you just slap it on top and it would just place over, over that. And then you can control the direction that it takes from one side to another. Something like that. Just just something so I can go from one belt to another. And then from a, you know, from a machine to a container, uh, like if they're directly, even if they're like directly connected like this, it would output the output of the machine itself into the box. See, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so then yeah, we have an output, so one more long-handed inserter. This is going to be the output of the actual machine. Uh, so it'll go into the box, back out of the box, and then into the research. Get the research done. Okay, so all we need is to make, uh, make belts, uh, which shouldn't be too hard. I wouldn't think, anyway. Okay. Um, okay, so we need a space of four. 
uh, for that specifically. And then we're going to configure to belts. Okay, so that's what we need for belts. That's uh, pretty easy. We just need plates, and we're already making enough of these to make this work, so we just got to get them belted over here. See, this is the only way to go from machine to machine. In the smallest amount of space between the two is uh, basically two belts and two inserters uh, to make that work. So you go output, input. Okay. Um, I might move those inputs to the front, actually. Yeah, let's move those to like right here instead. That way we have a little bit of a little bit more space in between there, because I'm going to use that. Uh, we'll use that space. And also, I don't know if you guys have seen, but my episode four of this uh, <laughs> of this of this series really took off. I don't know what happened or where that came from, but that is, you guys are awesome. So, <laughs> getting that video to freaking uh, what is it at now? Like six hundred and some odd views. It's insane. Like, my, my view average, my view number average is usually around 15, like 10 to 15. Yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. <laughs> which is which is awesome. I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> it's, it's freaking amazing. I love when videos just... And it's just, it's weird though to me because it just... Oops. Uh, it's because it just spontaneously happens. It's... Uh, it is very strange. <laughs> But that's the way it goes. It's sometimes with these types of when the with these types of deals, it's just the way it goes. Can I not? Hold on. If I put an inserter there, okay. I think that goes away. All right, cool. Because I was like, can I not just do that? <laughs> so we're gonna have both inputs on this side. That's why I wanted to use that, because I, I, I'm going to have belts running through the middle here, so... Yeah, one of these will be... Oh, wait. Yeah, one of these will be the... Oh. Hold on. All we need is... Okay. I was, I'm being stupid with this. Never mind. We'll just remove all that. Come on. Try to be careful. Alright, so we got our plates coming in. We're gonna run our secondary um our secondary plates right here. Which is that. And then that's all we should need for there. And then we just need those machine parts which is being made right here. So we'll have to throw a splitter right here. I mean, we don't have to throw a splitter, actually. Yeah, we don't have to throw a splitter, really. That's okay. Now all we gotta do is do this. Output. Yep. And just run the output line all the way to here. There you go. And once those machine parts get down here, I'll start making belts. So the belts require plates, and they require only 20 of those machinery parts. And we're making 40 machinery parts with this one machine. And the red, or the blue, sorry, is only taking 20 of those as well. So if we actually look at the... Oh, it just gave me the machinery parts back. They can't really see it, but it only requires 20. So we should be good there. Uh, so then, we're getting our... Uh, we're getting our belts. Very nice. However, I will be outputting here. And we'll 
make. We'll make one box. One box. Good. I'm going to throw a box right here. Back one. And then we no longer have to make belts ourselves either. If I moved the if I had moved this machine further down the line, I could have snuck it in here, but that's okay. making 40 belts per minute and we're only using 12 so we're doing good there so now all we need is the um, is this the bed machine yeah all we need now is the foundations so we'll put one of these down here and right there so we're gonna need to come up and over and then an input, and then one of these going up. I keep forgetting, don't rotate, <laughs> of course. All right, and then we can just make ourselves a little bridge. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to output like this. I'll just call that good. Our output. Very good, very good. Okay. Those should be going in. Yep, they're going in. And we are now making red. Very good. <laughs> now, of course, it's going to take a while to build up so we can start doing research, but. It'll be nice to get some of this other stuff like this right here. Um, I think this is going to be the first thing I go for um, as well. So we're just going to go for it. We're just going to put it in. It'll take forever to research, but getting those bigger containers uh, will definitely be of benefit. Then I can get rid of all this crap. Uh, you know how we have like these massive line of containers and inserters and stuff. I just start getting rid of those. I can also get rid of uh, anything else. Okay, so let's see how we doing on power. Power is not too bad. I still want to expand it though. Um, I did not build those machines. Hold on. See, I could build like a whole bunch as well. I just want a couple more of them. And then for that, what we can do, do it this way. We'll put a uh, splitter right there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that didn't do crap, did it? <laughs> now, wait a minute. It ain't gonna work. Foundation. Oh, that's right. I got rid of my foundations from this slide here. I'm just going to fill that in. And then this side. Just run that down. All the way down. being made, or these are done being made, boop, and boop, there we go, 
Perfect. So right there. Yeah, done. Perfect. So now we have four of these. We're doing good. Is this not making anything? Oh my gosh, look how slow that is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, boy. Damn. Put out the input. This should have at least one percentage done. Did I somehow take the one that it made? Or is it just simply that slow? It is making them because I just saw this move. And did I have an output on this? I did. Uh, it's not working though. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that would be why. There's seven in there. I should have seen that. Okay, there we go. Now she's going. That, that's really going to matter all too much as far as the research. But it's okay. Alright, we got stuff going. So the one of the other things I did on my game... Um, let's get rid of this. Was I was having problems with balance after a little bit. Uh, with this, so what I did to balance everything out, and it wasn't it wasn't this one specifically, it was actually the plates, but we're going to do it to both, was I put this in there um, to help balance it out. And this actually worked tremendously well. Um, the reason it worked so well, it was because I was balancing after each input set of uh, material. So you got your input set of material that comes onto the belt, when it can, and then this right here. And just leaving these, really, uh, to balance was just fine. And did I do... I didn't do the balance to this side yet. So let's do that. Um, so the... oops. Actually, let's do it here. Okay. So then we'll put that... So we're going to balance out, basically, inputs of the materials as well. Um, because once they get going real fast, they'll they'll start they'll start to uh, falter a little bit. Uh, but if you can input or if you can balance out, unless I balance, I didn't balance this one. Yet. I think I bal I balanced the other one uh, in this game. See, this is why this is also why I'm playing like two different games at the same time. So then, when you're balancing in this out, you want to output priority. To the closer or to the one that is providing the that's going to be providing the most material. Um, so the one that's the first input line, because this one's going to uh, basically be providing for both these belts constantly, um, and these other ones are just going to get backed up. So this one, this line set, uh, once the belt gets going decent speed, this line set's going to be going constantly. So. You want to balance towards that, essentially, and that's that's what's going on over here. Uh, if we go to this side, you see I've got the balance lines coming in, but I don't have them going to the right one, so we're gonna swap that. There we go, because this is the uh, this is the very first line, and that provides for all of this. So. And you can see how this is kind of not, it's not exactly balanced the way I want it. So we're going to move, we're going to remove this. We're going to put that here instead. And it's going to help balance this out. You put, it basically, you put enough balancers on it, on a, on a set of belts, and it'll eventually balance itself. <laughs> if only they had these for uh, Factorial, that'd be awesome. Or Factorial, sorry. Uh, satisfactory. Uh, satisfactory could definitely use with some load balancers. Um, that would be nice. I mean, you can you can load balance with the splitters and stuff if you're smart. But that's not me. 
uh, I've blowed ballots with uh, with the splitters and stuff, uh, splitters and mergers and stuff before. But just, this just makes it much so much easier because you could use this as a merger or a splitter. It's kind of just all in one. Uh, speaking of, of satisfactory, uh, unfortunately, the closed beta has been going, uh, and I have not been picked. <laughs> so I was kind of bummed out about that. I was like, "Oh man, I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll uh, pick some more for the future." But they they said they got a couple thousand going right now, so uh, a couple thousand people playing it right now. So hopefully they'll pick they'll pick me for the future. So I was really looking forward to that, but. I knew there was a, definitely knew there was a chance that uh, it wouldn't happen. Because <laughs> uh, I was like, dang it, I really wanted to get in on that uh, 1.0 early. I think that would have been a lot of, a lot of fun. But yeah, they're, they're doing the closed beta for 1.0, and they still, they still do plan to release this year, so. Uh, should be fun. And uh, of course, once uh, 1.0 comes out for Satisfactory, we'll be dropping everything to go and play that. Even if it's this game, I'll be dropping this game to go uh, start a brand new game on Satisfactory, and that'll be all we do until we finish the game, of course. Okay, so we basically we've got this all going. Uh, let's grab a bunch of foundation while that gets researched, and let's work on expansion. Yep, just grab as many and we can. Should have probably researched uh, inventory size. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to keep working on expansion here. Get this all uh, squared away. Haha. Uh -huh. Hey, that research is coming. Uh, I've also almost ran myself completely out of foundation. <laughs> it's uh, a little crazy right now. How much foundation? I've almost got it all squared away, though. The only thing is, this is only what three? This is only twelve blocks where we could put factories. There's only twelve factories that we could put down right now. That's not very many <laughs> comparatively. Anyway, what if I can? No, I'm gonna have to go up here. But like I said, I've almost got it done. Uh, character inventory size would be awesome. Character crafting speed. Eh, I'm not really crafting myself very much anymore. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's go uh, inventory slots. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Mark two belts. Mark two belts, please. Yes, please. Yes, please and thank you. <laughs> I was just like, I had a research in mind earlier, and I just, just now remembering what it was. Okay, let's take this over to 30 by 30, or 33 by 33. Um, again, another recommendation I would have for this game is to allow us to reduce the UI um, occupancy, or whatever it's called. Uh, how's it pronounced? Um, basically the visibility of it. Being able to turn that down so it's a little more transparent uh, would be nice. Um, you know, this little grid that appears when you're placing stuff. Th this one here. Because it's kind of hard to see through when it's uh, on a surface. Now, if it if it's uh, see through to the sky or to the ground, it's a lot easier to see. But when that when the grid's on the actual foundation, uh, and it's nighttime, oh my gosh, you cannot see through this damn thing. It's it's you can see through it just as much as you can see through mud. Uh, it's crazy. It, it is it is pretty crazy. But anyway, that uh, that squares it off, and if we look at the map here, you can see just how big this area is. This square now is how big the city is so far. Um, well, how big the the beginning area is. I mean, it's not even that big. Uh, it's not even that impressive, really. Um, but it'll get there. Uh, and this is as far as we're going to expand to the north. The north uh, cannot expand any further. Uh, and what I am going to do 
is I am going to run the foundation down like a like a sea ball almost, and we're going to run that down all the way along this river here. Um, that's going to take a lot of foundations too, uh, and then that's going to basically do that, and it's going to uh, go all the way over here as well. Um, and then we're just going to have like a uh, kind of like a boardwalk almost. It's going to walk all the way around. Uh, this and yeah, I know the city's pretty damn high off the ground, but and it probably would have been a little bit better if we went lower, but uh, more space underneath for belts, you know, such. Um, you know how it goes. Yeah, just look at the the dark patches. Don't really make sense. <laughs> I have broken their lighting system. <laughs> I'm wondering, it. you know what it is, I bet? I bet you these blocks here, these blocks have a property to allow light through. Not completely, but they do have a, a property to allow light through. Because if you look where the dark spots actually are, are where it's pure foundation. Uh, where it's just pure foundation, there's no light coming through. But when it's, uh, but when it's uh, the decorative blocks where the streets are, the streets... Uh, they actually allow light to pass through them. Uh, and this is actually probably a good thing, um, because in buildings, it'd be incredibly dark. Uh, now, if this was running off of the Unreal Engine, like Satisfactory was, I would say they need to incorporate Lumen so that it works correctly. Um, if they didn't have it enabled already, but unfortunately... Why isn't this running? running out of plates. That's not good. Wait, where's all of our plates going? This was balanced correctly last time. Uh, hold on. I think I forgot to do that. Yeah, if we output priority to the right. Yeah, this one might need to be output priority to the right as well. That way that belt stays full. There we go. And that seemed to have balanced it out a little bit. Because we're not having problems with input. Input is fine. It's the output that's the problem. Because we just added a whole bunch more and the Mark II belts are also going to help us with that once they get made, of course. Um, see, we're pretty full on, uh, on blue. We're actually still building on that, which is nice. Um, I need to let this build up too eventually, but uh, there's just too many things that I want right now that takes a red. Um, and if you actually look, it's going to tell me that they're that is insufficient or inefficient. Yeah, I bet you it's inefficient. Like it can't get to three research or the three packs that it wants. However, it is working. Uh, it doesn't tell me it's inefficient yet. Oh, it might get three before the day's done. Who knows? It'll be close. It's it's probably getting one per, which is just fine. Okay, so now that that's all squared away, we need to get the uh, I need to get the roads painted um, as well. So we'll go up here and get these damn roads painted. Um, so these ones, of course. We just go like this. Now again, uh, I would really love it if I could click and drag a space, much like how you put down the foundations in the first place. If I could click and drag, or if I could color the blocks beforehand, like if they're in my hand, if I could change the color of the block, like say I'm holding this block, right? Um, if I could say hold left click, or not, maybe not left click, maybe like middle click or something. Just holding a key or, or something. being Like holding it and then say change color to this. And then it would change the color to that. That way I don't have to sit here and paint each individual block. You know, it may seem fast now, but wait until you start building like massive buildings with it. Or just massive structures in general. Uh, it's going to take forever to paint anything. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just one of those types of deals. Just 
just it's, it's something that's kind of needed <laughs> in my opinion anyway okay so this is where the sidewalk is going to be uh, because we have uh, measured that out so uh, whoops hold on uh, should have painted the end there yeah or whatever it's fine it works so this is our little crosswalk I haven't painted that side yet. There we go. Back to this. So this is not quite black, but it's close. It's, uh, I wanted it to be asphalt color. So I, if you actually look really closely, I don't know if you guys can see it on your screen, but it has a bit of a, has a very, very light red tint to it. Oh, it did. Actually, no, if I mess with that. Yeah, if I mess with that, I'll have to repaint the whole thing. Um, I think it could definitely deal with uh, Satisfactory's um, global paint system, where you could paint a bunch of stuff to the same color, uh, and then if you change that color at any point, it changes it globally for all. But that's not really necessary, but. It's just one of those kind of quality of life things. Oops. Oh well. I'm be painting with the white anyway. And we'll just go. This did have a red, t uh, red tint to it, but I think I screwed that up <laughs> somehow. And I just, I think, I think I got, I, I said the hell with it. Just went black anyway. Like that's just how I did that. Called it. Uh, call it, uh, call it a day. Okay. So we, uh, with the lines, we go every two. Um, so one, two, one, two. It's a bit like that, so. Uh, two, one, two. It's a bit like this. It takes a while to do, but... I don't know how well it's gonna work. I keep switching. <laughs> I keep switching it like an like an idiot over here, like a fool. Oops. Okay. That's it. See, I did it again. Dang it. Get out of here. So it doesn't seem to have worked correctly uh, when it comes to this. So if we do like, let's say this, right? This might work. And it might be the standard uh, for this type of stuff. I'm doing it again. <laughs> this. Okay. We go white. One, two, three. So then it'd be two, three. Let me do that. I think that'll work. And change. So you got one, two, three lines and then a, a slightly extra long line. Uh, and then that kind of works out for better. It's either that or we get rid of this entirely. I wonder if that'll work. No. That will not work. Dang it. <laughs> Trying to find a balance here that would uh, definitely work out. Let's see, if you have the, the one here, and just this is just easier to do it this way. Okay. All right, I've tried about every way I could think of, and this is this is the best outcome. <laughs> 
Uh, I've tried removing the lines. I've tried giving the line extra space in between these lines and, and those lines. I've tried just just every possible way I could think of. I've even tried three and three, and that still didn't work. Uh, what a mess. Uh, it uh, it works, though, I suppose. It's uh, not perfect, but it it, uh, it will work. So we'll just go and uh, paint all of these and. At least get that. At least get our first set of blocks painted while we uh, wait for conveyor two, which is taking forever. Hey, our research got done. Sweet. All right, what's our next step? Um, we got door double. We've got decor two, which could be ooh conveyor balancer mark two. Why didn't that come with the other belts? Start research. We'll do the balancer. Alrighty then. Got all that painted finally. <laughs> it did take a bit uh, to get these little side roads. That's just one block that takes that long. It's like, jeez. Actually, that's four blocks technically, but because you know, painting each set of roads. So, yeah, uh, as I was saying last time. Uh, off to the south here is going to be uh, basically tier one objects, uh, essentially. So we're going to have all the objects that take one step uh, to make. We might do two steps, or, or everything that takes blue, that's right. Everything that takes that uh, was part of the blue research will be made off this way or off this way. I might go this way because I think there's some more rivers and stuff this way, so... Uh, I mean, it's not, not that it really matters. We can just overbuild it, but... Yeah, everything that was, um... Basically, everything that was Mark 1. Uh, or, uh, Research 1. Will be over here. Research 2 will be over there. That kind of stuff. Um... Of course, we could also do Research 1 off to the west here. Um... I think over here will be our smelting district, right up against the river, like we had talked about last time. So this will be our research um, division uh, over on this side. Taking out that land bridge is going to take a while. <laughs> that's a lot of blocks as well. I'll do it at some point, but yeah, that, uh, that helps with that. And uh, what not? I think that's probably all I'm going to do for expansion today. Um, at least we got the... So we got 12 blocks to work with for now. Um, but of course, as well, uh, we'll have to wait until we get a little bit further in expansion then we can start deciding everything. Yeah, I really do think that the decor... The decor blocks let light through. And the foundation blocks do not. Um... So, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> Unless they, they might give off a light, to be honest. They might be giving off light. If they're like a light illumination block. But that did allow us to uh, put a bunch of uh, space, or a bunch of space, a bunch of time into getting foundations built. Uh, so that's pretty good. We got all that done. However, it has not been allowing us to build any of this stuff. Uh... But it did allow us to do the belts. So we got uh, Mark II belts. How do we make Mark II belts just by hand? That, oh, that takes electronic components. That's right. Which is a whole nother production line in and of itself. So, yeah. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be interesting. Okay. So... I want to build these, which means we need, um, we need plates. Or no, we need rods, that's right, they're, they're technum stuff. Electronics. Electronical rods. I'm just gonna take all of that. Is that not enough? Oh, and we need plates for machine parts. And we're gonna need Mark II belts. Let's grab some parts, too. I should have a box of parts, don't I? Yeah. Then we can kind of skip that step. Just 
just click it. It's fine. Go. Yep. Make more machinery parts. Uh, Want to build all of that? That too, sure. If we can build all that and start getting, um, yeah, start getting these belts upgraded to Mark II. That'll be much, it'll be much nicer um, because of that. So. And once we get that damn balancer done, that'll be really nice. Luckily, they did take on the role of Satisfactory, which was, or take on the Satisfactory thing where you can upgrade the belts just by having this stuff in your inventory. And I don't know how much it's going to allow me to do. Looks like it'll allow me to do this entire belt. Actually, not sure. Oh, it'll do slopes too. Click to replace complete conveyor line. 32 belts we need. Uh, to do that entire belt line. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm glad it tells you. To only upgrade a targeted belt and disable building replacement. No, we want that uh, to be replaced. That's pretty cool. So we can just click that, and that's now a Mark II belt. So then if we aim at this one, this one says, oh, it just says four, uh, 14 belts, which is what we just built, so. Bam. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah, these are Mark I uh, balancers. That's right. So we're going to be uh, upgrading to this. Ain't going to really matter all that much. Missing five belts. Three belts. One belt. And uh, there we go. And this one. <laughs> 46 belts. That's going to take a while. Like I said. But yeah, building them in your inventory isn't the greatest thing. It does take a while. Yeah, at some point I would like to actually. I suppose we could take a look. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see what the production speeds are going to be. Uh, here we go. So let's say mark two belts. That. Okay, so we need another machine making machinery parts. How many belts are we making? Uh, Forty belts per minute minus. 40. So that's 30. So you have 28 to work with. And we need 24. Okay, so that's fine there. Machinery parts, like I said, we'll need a we'll need another machine making machinery parts. Uh, which is just these plates here. So we can definitely work with that. Um, we'll just have its own dedicated machine to making more machinery parts. Uh, then it requires these electronic components, which we'll need another assembly for. Uh, electronic components, it needs 24 per minute. Electronic components, 24 per minute. Oh, and this only makes 20, so you need two of these machines to make it. Yeah, that's way too complicated right now. That's just that's just too complicated. <laughs> we'll just build them by hand for right now. It'll take a while, but uh, yeah, we'll just build them by hand for the moment until we need to. Otherwise, we're doing Mark One and Mark Two research right now, just with the setup we have. Um, so we're doing pretty good. Okay, it's not too bad down here. A little dark, but that's. That, uh, that also can be fixed by throwing up some lights. Actually kind of shows you the area a little bit, what it's going to light up. Maybe? Or is that just... Is that just the... So we'll throw one here. Uh, throw one here. Here. We only got one left. 
And eh, we'll throw one here. Sure. <laughs> uh, works for me. Let's get. Uh, okay, so that's that. Research is still chugging away. We got plenty more belts being made. Okay, this one's a needs 21 belts, which we have 85. Okay, this one needs 29 belts. Good there. This one needs 39 belts, which was exactly what we had. <laughs> That just upgrades all these belts so that they're... Oh, and it even goes all the way in there. Perfect. To upgrade these, I imagine we had to be here. Yeah. We'd have to be here, and then... So you want to put it at the start of your belt. It doesn't just do the entire belt. It only does a certain way back. I think. I don't know, actually. Still, this one needs 49 belts, which we don't have. Yeah. And we still have yet to upgrade this. Oh, no, we did. We did that one. Okay. Be nice to get these up all upgraded, though. But it is going to take a while to build them. <laughs> anyway, I think we're just about out of time here. Um, we got what I wanted to get done. We got what I wanted to get accomplished. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, and uh, whatnot. I guess what we can do is we can make our road all the way around. So these roads are the main roads, uh, and then the next set of roads are going to be one way, or not one ways, but they're going to be double line, or basically a single line. Uh, so basically what we do is these roads, like I said, they're going to be single road, they're going to be a single lane road, so we're going to do nine. Um, I know that's two lanes, but you'll you'll see what I what I mean by single lane road. Um, you know, my uh, my days at the Department of Transportation is showing through. Uh, with what we call single lane road, which is a single lane each direction. Double lane road is a dual lane each direction. Uh, or it could be it could be a one way, well a one way dual, I suppose. Yeah, this road's going to go all the way around. Just do it like that. So nine. Yeah, we just keep continuing to go all the way around. It's going to take forever to build this, but... Yeah, and then we'll have a walkway that goes all the way around here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll slope this back to the edge of the river on this corner. Here. Um, I think that'll be okay. Yeah, like I said. And then when we, when we paint this, it'll be there'll be a line down the middle of it, but it'll be yellow, of course. It's still a dual lane or, or dual direction. It's two direct, a two-way road, but it's a single lane. Same. This just saves the city from being too big, um, having dual lane, dual road, dual lane, two way roads, or two lane, two way roads, all the way for everything. Because I imagine at some point this game's going to get very angry with me uh, putting these uh, decorative blocks down. <laughs> tall enough to go all clear over the trees. Say goodbye to sunlight, trees. We ain't gonna get none of it. Because I'm, I'm an industrial tycoon. It's <laughs> my channel's description, baby. I started uploading like uh, like I have been uh, uploading a video every day to YouTube. Well, almost every day. Not quite every day, but 
close enough. Um, I knew that I wanted to do like uh, uh, I wanted to do uh, factory games essentially. So it's just like, oh yeah. Well, for the most part, they'll do other games, but factory games will be the usually the main source of content. Unless we're out of factory games to play at that particular moment. Right. Getting close, we're almost we've almost made our all the way around. Then uh, then comes the fun part of painting this. That'll be later. decoration blocks. Holy crap. Didn't think I was ever going to run out. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And I should be dead. <laughs> then I turn on the crazy machine. and then with our foundations we're going to go all the way around for the sidewalk first thing I'm going to do though we're going to come up here we can almost hop on top of that <laughs> let's do a 4 by 4 by 4 because we're going to we got to do our sidewalk here Almost had it too. Hey, we got it. Four by four. And then, yep, yeah, just go all the way around with our four by four. Or with our four. Technically, it's we're doing two four, two sets of fours. Um, which is crazy. It's a lot of foundation blocks. We'll get that going all the way around. And then hopefully, that should get our conveyor balancer. Uh, research finished, at least for this episode. Okay, and that research is done. What's our next one? Uh, probably... More inventory space? Yeah. Even more inventory space. Because we don't really need much else. I mean, we get lights too. Uh, that'll... That'll get us going on the next set of stuff, but we're not quite ready for that anyway. Um, what's Assembler 2? So Assembler 2, oh, you need basic steel making. Okay. Now, we'll, uh, we'll work on um, inventory size. Is inventory size, that's, that takes the third. Okay. Yeah, inventory size would be great um, as well, so. We'll work on that, and then character crafting speed and mining speed, that kind of stuff. That would be a nice. Uh... Just doing the sidewalk all the way around here. Alrighty then, that research is now done. Let's see. What should we go for next? I want character crafting speed, but I also want this because I know I'm going to be doing more digging. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do mining drill speed. That'll work. Right. Back to what I was doing. Alrighty then, that is research completed for mining speed increase. <laughs> uh, so I did do some of the painting uh, while I was waiting as well. Um, and I got everything hooked up. That's what these are, are the... Uh, if you remember from last time, the underground, sort of the under-the-road under, under the road power line um, type deals there. So we're going to go up to the top here. And I did get these all painted. 
like I said, all the intersections are done. The, you know, solid yellow line is here. Oh, uh, if you guys want to know what the hex code is for this, for this yellow, this is called traffic yellow. Uh, uh, that's what I've also called it here. This is the hex code. F7B500. Uh, that is the hex code for that. And it actually did work out, uh, it worked out quite well for this. Uh, that definitely looks like traffic yellow to me. It's like, it's not a yellow and it's not an orange. It's like a, a mostly, it's a mostly yellow, but it's got a bit of an orange tint to it. Really catches the eye. Um, it's almost this color, except for this color is quite dull, but it's essentially the same. And then, of course, we got the crosswalks and stuff. And like I said, all these sidewalks are all connected to convert power over across the intersections and uh, whatnot. So, yeah, looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. I'm going to get rid of these, by the way. I, I decided I didn't like the lines in the, in the middle of the intersections here. Um, but, yeah, like I said, the only, the only roads that are going to have dual lane uh, like this are going to be the roads that are the main ones, um, like the roundabout here in the middle, uh, square about, and then the straight roads that go north, south, east, and west. That's the only ones that are going to be double like that. The rest of the roads are going to be like this, and of course the blocks aren't going to be this big. Uh, there's going to be actually a, uh, we're actually going to have uh, little alleyways where you can walk in between the, the buildings and stuff like that. Uh, you know, without having to follow the roads, um, we can kind of cut in between. So it's like an alleyway, but for just for pedestrians, really, uh, and stuff like that. And uh, everything is looking pretty good. The city is growing. Um, yeah, I'm actually I've actually given it, given it some thought, and I think all of the tier one stuff is going to be done over here um, to the west. The reason being is because there's not much uh, there's not much more. Uh, before that, before that river, so, or for, yeah, before that, uh, that big old river slash lake, and I kind of want to do a bit of, like, a docking area, um, over there, along that front, uh, so the smelting area is going to be over there, that'll be where all of our smelter stuff gets done, and we'll separate those, because I don't know how much we're going to need, um, and, uh, whatnot, we'll see what happens, um, but the smelters are pretty small. I don't know. It depends on what our smelters end up being. These are they say small, so there must be some bigger ones uh, that we can use, and we'll have to swap those out. I, I would think. Uh, I'm not really sure. Or we'll do something. Uh, and then this side, of course. And then this corner, uh, we're not going to be able to have a block over here. I'm actually going to. I don't. I just did this just because I was uh, in autopilot essentially when I was building this. But uh, yeah, we're gonna corner this off. This will be a full corner, uh, and then we'll uh, uh, we'll just uh, corner this off and just have it like that and such. But uh, everything is uh, coming along nicely. Um, and I guess if it gives me too much trouble, I'll just build over the head top of it and set it hell with. <laughs> uh, we'll have it a, a waterway going underneath the city. Anyway, um, now that I've got everything painted, I did the research that I wanted to do. We could start the next research, but uh, I'll probably wait until next time. Uh, so, like, character crafting speed uh, would be a good one to have. Um, so, we can craft a little bit faster. Uh, by hand, because we're going to be crafting the Mark II belts by hand for a while, um, and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, um, I do think that is going to be it for this episode of Foundry. Um, so yeah, next time, like I said, we'll continue to expand, we'll continue to do research, try to push the progression of the game with our temporary factory down here until we get... Um, uh, until we get the city going, and then once we get the city going, then uh, we'll remove all this uh, and stuff like that. So, but anyway, like I said, that is going to be it. So, I do hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I guess it's a goodbye. Bye.